All right, guys, so it is now expected for Apple to release iOS 26.1, the first major update to iOS 26 here in the next 24 to 48 hours. I've been running the official software release, the release candidate here with iOS 26.1 on my iPhone 17 Pro Max. And this software update brings a lot of changes and improvements. For example, faster animation, more bounciness and you know, physics to the animation, including improvements to battery life. That translates to all devices, old and new. There's also improvements and changes happening with liquid glass. For example, with this software update, you'll be able to go under display and brightness, and you have the liquid glass appearance option here, where you can choose either clear or tinted for your liquid glass elements. This includes notifications and elements within the OS, as you can see right there. So we have tinted and clear for their new liquid glass design, which I thought Apple would never do, but it is finally here, and I'm happy that they're listening to their customers. There's also changes happening to Apple Music. For example, if you're playing music within Apple Music and you have your media player playing right here, you can swipe forward to the next track or swipe backwards to the previous track. Very intuitive, and the latest RC actually improves the user experience in terms of animations overall, including within Apple Music here as well. And Apple has also updated a security feature for iPhone, which was previously called Rapid Security Response. It was found under Settings and Software Updates, but now it's under Privacy. So if we go under Privacy and Security, Apple has also changed the name to Background Security Improvements. Right there it is. This should allow your iPhone to update the security in the background without having to update the software. So if something critical comes about, a security issue within the iPhone, your iPhone will be able to update its security without having to update the software, which is something that we've been doing on computers for years, but it is finally here for iPhone. And I'm happy to see that. So there's a lot happening with iOS 26.1. Again, the software is expected to be released within the next 24 to 48 hours. I would say tomorrow, Monday, if you're watching Sunday, on Monday, November the 3rd or the 4th. We'll have to wait and see, but I believe tomorrow will be the day. And if you plan to update, Here's a few things you're going to want to do before you update to iOS 26.1. So there's about three things you're going to want to do before you click update for iOS 26.1. Now, the first thing I want to talk about for all my beta testers, if you're running iOS 26.1, RC, the release candidate, there could be a final build release on Monday. So if you want the official final build number that will be released to the general public for beta testers, again, jump into settings, general, go under software updates and under beta updates, turn off the betas just for the day on Monday so that you can update, refresh and update to iOS 26.1, the official final release. Just keep in mind that Apple could be releasing a final bill number. So if you're running the betas, you're going to want to turn it off. And then once you update officially to 26.1, go back to beta updates and select betas once again if you want to continue testing the betas for future software updates like iOS 26.2 betas which should be released right after 26.1. So now there's two other things I recommend everyone should do tonight before the software is released to the general public, and that is back up all your data. Yes, and keep in mind, iOS 26.1 is a major software release. So if something happens throughout the installation process, and hopefully it doesn't, but if something does happen, you have the latest backup of all your messages, your pictures, everything on your device. You wanna make sure you head on over into settings, Go under iCloud options right here, select the iCloud option, and then click on iCloud backup. This option right here, you wanna make sure you enable this. If you don't have it already enabled, just click right here, and you can do a manual backup right away if you wish to do so by clicking right here on the blue backup button, or this will happen automatically tonight once you connect your iPhone to a power source, connect it to Wi-Fi, your iPhone will back up everything, and you wanna make sure you do this. That way, again, you save all your pictures, your videos, your messages, your app information and things like that, just please back up your data. Now, last but not least, again, everyone should do this as well. Make sure you have at least 20 gigs of physical storage available on your device. I recommend you do this so that the installation process is a lot smoother. I've noticed that once you have storage available more than 20 gigs, the process is a lot smoother. So go under general, about, and then right here under capacity and available, make sure you have at least 20 gigs of physical storage available. If you don't have 20 gigs, you can go into your iPhone storage options right here and then take a look at what's taken up the storage and that way you can free up some of that storage and make it available right before the update. But again, iOS 26.1, the first major update to iOS 26, could be available within the next 24 to 48 hours. These are a few things you're gonna wanna do. Have a great day and a great weekend, everyone, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.